This is Vince Shiplett with another Versamatic quick tip. This video's tip will show how to properly install a PTFE diaphragm and backer diaphragm into a diaphragm assembly. When servicing diaphragms, remove one V-band clamp from either side of the pump. To remove the exposed diaphragm, loosen the diaphragm assembly and remove the assembly from the shaft. Removal of the opposite outer chamber will permit removal of the second diaphragm assembly and shaft as a unit. To disassemble the remaining diaphragm assembly from the shaft, utilize the wrench flats found on the shaft. When converting a unit from a rubber or thermoplastic to PTFE, a shaft change may be required. Most PTFE fitted units require a shorter shaft to accommodate the four diaphragms required for proper operation. Consult the service and operating manual for proper component requirements. PTFE fitted units require proper diaphragm plates to ensure functionality of the diaphragms. The diaphragms are to be installed with the natural bulge outward or towards the outer diaphragm plate. Make sure the inner plate is installed with the radius against the diaphragm. After all components are in position, hand tighten to the shaft. Apply a light amount of grease to the shaft and the bearing shaft seal bore. Insert the assembly through the bore and repeat the assembly of the diaphragms and plates and hand tighten the opposite end of the shaft. Torque the assemblies to the shaft. Consult the service and operating manual for proper torque requirements. Depending on the unit being used, PTFE tape is required to be placed on the outer chamber or on the PTFE diaphragm. Replace the outer chambers, ensuring proper alignment. For more information, videos, and literature, please visit our website at www.versamatic.com.